Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Hey, Sam. Those new sites you've brought into the network have helped us to restore more of our archives. Unfortunately, I still haven't managed to dig up anything about the BB's origins. And I'm completely locked out of BB-28 service record. If I could at least access that, I might be able to tell you why you've been experiencing those strange episodes. Well, I'll keep at it. You do the same. Sam, Until check the launch. terminal for available All orders. Alright, well... Hey kids, welcome back to another episode of Death Stranding. We're at a point in the game where I haven't really looked ahead, so I have no idea what's going on. All I can tell you is this game is going to be long. I think there's like 12 chapters in this game, and we're only on chapter 3. So that's crazy to me, that this game is actually super long. Higgs set fragile up. He is dropping again. It's all in your cuff logs. And with the aid of the Cairo network, we were able to restore Middle Nut City's regional archives. The records corroborate her story. Don't need you to tell me what's true and what ain't. I could hear it in her voice. Son of a bitch fucked her over good. No reservations about working with her then, I hope. Good news, Sam. The bot you sent out made it to its destination. The test was a success. Got another one prepped for you to use. Thank you with my thanks. One more thing, Sam. A new delivery type has been added to the terminal. Your hard work's getting noticed. Because of that, there's been some talk of offering a premium service. Now, it might seem like a hassle to willingly take on extra restrictions, but if you succeed, you'll boost your rep even more. So, if someone asks you to deliver within a time limit, you could counter it by setting the limit even lower thereby earning yourself a better evaluation if successful. Now, if you're feeling up for a challenge, give it a try. That sounds interesting. I'd have to have a car for that, though, I would imagine. All right, so we got... We got to deliver to the weather station. What about the standard orders? What do they do? Nope. Only the places that we've already seen. Hmm... 13? I'll take it. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. I'm so happy I don't have to carry all that. Cerulean Gauge Delivery Weather Station. Fragile Cargo. There we go. Sam, sometimes other porters will return Bridge's vehicles to the garage. They're for everyone, so feel free to use them if you want. Move a vehicle to the elevator to use it. Ooh. So if I get a mule truck. Oh, wait, shit. There we go.
<laughs> okay, uh, let's see. So, I would say. It doesn't look like there's really a road. This looks like a river. I would say, like. Like this. Yeah, like that. Oh, I'm stupid. There's a car right here. Sorry, Sam. I can't allow you to build a structure there. Pick a spot outside the sensor ring and try again. Weapons restrictions lifted. Now that'll hold that there. Begin scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Right, let's go. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until the target. All clear. Welcome to Sam Porter Bridges. Is it really gonna rain right now? right now yeah fragile cargo all right we'll see what happens Where is that thing? Is it up that mountain? It was like up there. That ain't good. My biking won't go through that. I'm stuck in a rock.
I can't climb. Oh, there we go. This is the worst way to climb, but it's what I'm doing. still here though We didn't get killed doing it. Cool. That was weird. Any cargo not stored in a private locker can be lost, even if it's stored on a vehicle. Ah, oh, so I'm gonna lose everything. Eh, I could always get more. I just gotta figure out how to get up there. I'm not worried about it because I don't lose the car. As long as I don't lose the car, I don't care. Up we go. Up we go. Looks like the rain stopped. <laughs> Don't tell me there's another one. Special alloys.
sick. Floating carrier. Hmm. Whoa. Safe house. So wait, can I grab those areas at the bottom? I'm sure they told you, but this weather station was built before the Death Stranding. Bridges 1 came and fixed it up. Unfortunately, we lost contact with our weather satellites a while back. Interference from chiral clouds. So it's been tough to measure chirelium levels and predict timefall. But thanks to you, this weather station can finally function as intended. You made our jobs easier. Now let us do the same for you. We won't let you down, I promise. Take care. I see you got the weather station back online. Excellent work, Sam. When a region is integrated into the chiral network, it's also brought closer to the beach, in a manner of speaking. There's a significant impact on Chirelium levels, and measuring that impact is one of the Cupid's primary functions. The more we know, the more accurately we can determine where to expect timefall and when. Without the Chiral Network, we'd be left guessing. Oh, and thanks to your latest accomplishment, you can now review the weather forecast via your cufflinks. Check your map. You'll see. Ought to come in handy when you're planning routes. I'll keep an eye on the Chiral Density from right here in my lab. It's not too far from South Knot City. Keep processing those orders and you'll put that region on the grid soon enough. Good luck, Sam. Good work, Sam. That's one more site on the grid. Keep it up and we'll be finished before you know it. The weather station's forecast should be visible to everyone on the Cairo network now. Yourself included. You can access them via your cufflinks. It could be useful when plotting your routes. Man, they like to repeat themselves, don't they? order available. Please access Okay, Alex Weatherstone. Of course he is. Okay. Model of 20th century cars. Resins and ceramics. We've added a timefall shelter option to your PCC. They're perfect for keeping you and your cargo dry until the weather improves. Cool. Congratulations, Sam. Your PCC's leveled up, so to speak. It now has the capacity to produce more complex structures. I'll let Mama fill you in on the details. Sam. I've added a safe house schematic to your PCC. It's a fairly large structure, so it'll take a lot of time and materials to build. But once complete, it's pretty much identical to a private room. Give it a shot. Hmm. A floating carrier is a kind of tractor car. Chiral crystals keep it suspended in midair, allowing it to move unimpeded over rough terrain. You can load one up with cargo and tow it to your destination with minimal effort. If one's not enough for your needs, you can hook it up to another and take two. Just keep in mind that carriers require a steady supply of Cairo crystals to operate. Make sure you have enough to get where you need to go.
door, Sam. Order assigned. Can I use the power skeleton? Weather forecasts can now be viewed via your cufflinks. Should come in handy when you're on the road. See, you keep saying that. That's how we're going to take with this right now. Okay, so... Right about there. We got to make a little safe house. Sam, it seems like you don't have enough resources to build that safe house. Make sure to take everything we earmarked for you. car or a motorcycle nah but yeah yeah sorry I'm kind of dumb give me a second I figured it out. Come on, fella. Where are we going? We're going. We're going this way. And we gotta make our way that way. Keep it up, Sam. You're making a real difference. Hey, Jay. Look at this, I got a little cart. It's cute. You know, it's like a little wagon. POV, you're a dad on Halloween night. <laughs> it's so cute, oh my god. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. There we go. Our little cart. Can I remove it? Yes, I can. All right, you've made it. Let's get that safe house built. You good to go, Sam? First, equip your PCC and select safe house. Gonna be pretty cool. Sam, you'll want to get those materials over to the safe house sooner rather than later.
have any. I don't have enough special alloys. finish eventually hmm. yeah I already completed it so we're good predicting the weather is akin to predicting the future some animals have a kind of sixth sense that helps them to avoid danger but we have something far better the ability to gather data and act accordingly only humans possess this power to plan ahead <clears throat> We have the capacity to live each day imagining what tomorrow will be like. And our imagination once gave rise to a rich, vibrant culture. But somewhere along the line, we lost sight of tomorrow. <sighs> we reduced ourselves to animals, focused only on the here and now. I'm gonna have to build a time fall shelter at some point. I hear rain again. I think we're near mule. Yep, we're near mules. It though. Oh nope, we still got a way to go. Mm, we're gonna have to drop some stuff, it looks like. I'm gonna put this stuff in here. And I 
There we go. I know I didn't put that in the car. Give me a second. Now I can loot this area. I don't know why I said it like that. I'm weird. I don't know. Good now. Unfortunately, my bolo gun is empty. So I will put that away. Like there's something here. I gotta remember the car. Something's too heavy. There we go. I'll come back for this stuff.
sorry, there's a weight limit to the car. But I think it's right there. And let me see. Boop, ba doop. Yeah, right there. has always been so good to us. Amelie was a dear friend in the early days. She saw the value in what we were doing and led the effort to get our farm up and running. We've been waiting a long time to join the Chiral Network. Let's have a look at that wheat you brought, shall we? Well, I'll be. Did you really bring us this much? How on earth did you manage? Oh, bless you. Oh, I get it. They're using the time fall to grow the crops faster. Uh, that, that's so genius. Look at that. That's a great storytelling right there. Just in itself. So Sam, you've been run down by mules after they pinged your cargo, right? Well, to help prevent that from happening again, we've upgraded your own cargo scanner. Say you're about to get pinged. If you time it right, you can return the favor and cancel out their pulse with your own. They'll be none the wiser and you can carry on without worry. Timing is everything though. Hmm. using Timefall to our advantage. Our farm will be a world first. Truth be told, we've got some test fields, but without the ability to predict Timefall, the results have been less than stellar. The Timefall around here was fairly regular, so we had a reasonable idea of when to plant and when to harvest. But then the terrorists went and threw everything out of whack. Too many dead, too many craters. Weather became impossible to predict. The network's forecast ought to help us get back on track, thank goodness. If all goes to plan, we'll be...
be able to expand our operation and use Timefall to cultivate whole swaths of land. We'll continue our genetic research too, of course, and see if we can't find a way to help develop a sustainable ecosystem. Hell, maybe we'll even stumble into some answers about the Timefall while we're at it. We got our work cut out for us, but I'm up for the challenge. Thanks again, Sam. You've given us hope for a better tomorrow. <laughs> I can't wait for the harvest. That's the way, Sam. Halfway there. You can do it. Huh? Well, would you look at that? You've only just brought the Timefall farm into the network, and already we've got new orders. May as well make use of the return trip. Good work. Return new trip? Available. Please access delivery. Ah. I have no orders here. I have to do it this way. Special beer. Gotta be careful, there is no... Oh, I gotta put a battery down or something. Ooh. Look at that! And that's the time fall filter looks like. Ooh. Okay, so we gotta make our way... Hold on, give me a second. There we go. So we gotta go upwards. Guessing follow the road until we get to there. I'm gonna save here in case there's mules, but I will keep going for now. Not save while driving a vehicle. Why didn't you say so? Stretch my legs. Go. Ta da! So now, if I get to any run with mules, you'll know because of weird cuts. Generator while I'm here. Weapons restrictions Truck's batteries running out. Do I have another thing? There we go. This is a lot of cargo in this truck and I don't want to lose it. There we 
go. Let's get going. What is this stuff? Ladders. Yeah, unfortunately there's no road. I'm gonna have to deal with the bumpiness. Better than leaving that stuff behind. If I gotta go slow, I do. I'm gonna have to go fast now because it's gonna rain. I gotta cross, drive that way, and then go like that. Yeah. Don't turn, don't turn. Oh, there's a bridge there. Thank God. Stay upright, apparently. There's another generator right there. Hopefully, I can make it. Oh, someone's there. I think there's a player there. I'm Sam. Over here. Hello. Okay, and now I just gotta go. An, uh, an actual road would have been nice. There's really something there. I don't know what that is. It looks like a landing strip. Okay, you can see it from here. That means we're close. Drive is a little bit annoying, but we're making it. Oh yay, more music to get copyrighted by. Alright, we made it. Try something. If I bring the truck close, can I use that to take cargo out? Okay.
I can't. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. All this stuff. Honda Rebel 500. Urgent junk dealer, film director. Hmm. Heads up, Sam. This junk dealer is probably going to give you a hard time. He's got a rep for demanding the impossible and lodging complaints when folks don't come through. As usual, he wants a bunch of scrap, and he wants it ASAP for whatever reason. According to Fragile's records, he's nothing but trouble. I doubt he'll treat you any better than he treated her, but I want you to do your best for him, regardless. If you're going to meet his deadline, you'll have to move fast. But don't take unnecessary risks and endanger yourself or your cargo. Oh, and if you're wondering why we don't just tell this guy to go to hell, we can't. Fact is, we need his shelter if we're going to push ahead with expanding the network. So, we've got to get on his good side. Easier said than done, considering how little interest he's shown in joining the UCA. But be nice, and if nothing else, try to get him to contract with us. Delivery to remote area. This one. This is the last one we'll do for now, I think. Unless something important happens, I'm not sure. Well, we got our cards. I could use his motorcycle. Nah, I'm good. He can have it. I'm okay. Order assigned. Delivery parameters updated. Time limit. Oh, that's set. what this stuff was. Five minutes to deliver this guy his stuff. Hold on, give me one quick second. 
There we go. Beginning scan. My oh, computer's turn. being weird on the side. Sam, it's fragile. Though he calls himself a junk dealer now, your client used to work in comms as a... That's crazy. Where is he? He is... There. Repair man. Could fix anything, from simple wireless terminals to integral parts of the civic network. He was a good man. A pleasure to deal with. But after the attack near South Knot City, he changed. Not that I blame him. We gave him plenty of reason to distrust us. Oh, I'll put a bridge here. Somebody will fix it. But hold on. Somebody will work on it. Truck's battery is gonna go out. How close are we? Uh, it's the most annoying thing I've ever done in my life. Go over there. Now we're. Fine, we're almost there anyways. Crater Lake. There's a lot of stuff for Crater Lake here. Junk dealer. Begin scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile Express ID. Very Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Nut jobs and their buddies at Fragile Fucking Express. Not to mention the bridges assholes who had to go and kick the hornet's nest. <sighs> Whatever. Let's see the goods. You make good time, like you're supposed to. That's your job, isn't it? Yeah, he's all sad. I'm guessing Fragile accidentally killed his girl. As far as I'm concerned, all you porters are no better than terrorists. And nothing you say will convince me otherwise. So take your Cupid and fuck off. Well, okay then. Something tells me that if we want to win him over, we need to figure out what really happened to that woman in the hologram. Uh, he 
seems to think she died in the attack. But we checked South Knot City's records, and there's no death certificate for a woman matching her description. Which is why I asked Fragile to look into it. Hey, Sam. I was looking through my old client database on the off chance I might find our mystery woman. And wouldn't you know it, a pretty close match popped up. Facial and voice. She's still alive. Our junk dealer's grieving for nothing. I doubt he'll take our word for it, though. Hang on. He just posted another order. Probably just trying to push our buttons. May as well check the delivery terminal and see what he wants. Good work. New order available. Ooh. Cargo collection from a BT area. Hmm. I think we're going to do that in the next episode. This hmm. one's quite enough. So. If you guys are enjoying it, let me know. I'm liking it. I mean, right now it's a slow burn, but it's a good time still. So.